stupid thing wasn't on. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Okay. Well, alright, that's okay. So what? <laughs> yeah, I'm learning about the video too. That's a cute little tripod. Yeah, I made uh, I made a how-to video uh, for my group. Um, this is totally a learning experience for me, is making how-to videos because um, I'm what I'm do what we're doing is we're sharing techniques in our group. Yeah, in our group, and so we're kind of um, well, we're you know that's how we're doing it. We're trying. Not not everybody's doing a video, but I'm doing a video of what. I'm doing as a process. That's a great way to share it, share what you're doing. But I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm learning about the camera, so. Yeah. And the thing is, that's a digital camera. I have a video camera that, that lasts for an hour. Yeah, I was going to say, how long a video can you do? And this is, the, but see, YouTube only allows you um, 15 minutes. See, YouTube only allows your video to be 15 minutes. So there's no sense in wasting a full hour on something that's going to be cut off. Unless you go around and play play around editing it. Yeah. And that's a... Which is not what I want to do because no. then that's too... <laughs> no, because that's not that's not a spontaneous video. Oh, no, no. That's, that's, that's put... That, you know, no, that's not the same kind of video. No, that's not what I want to do. Can I get it wet and then drip paint? Whatever it? you want to do. Does that work too? Whatever you want to do, honey. So it's it, your... It it's, yeah. Do something. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. See how this is spreading. This is doing. This is doing something different. Yeah. And so, um, watercolor is a spontaneous medium anyway. It's totally. Un you cannot control watercolor. Well, you can to a certain degree, but not really. Um, and that's the fun part of watercolor, is that you see. Do you see now how now you've exper you've experienced um, the fact that you need. Wet. wet watercolor in order for that technique to work. Yeah. 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 So just experiment more. There's the more. eye. Yeah. Now you can also, blue is compatible to some pink. So you can do some pink if you want to do some pink. And that was a And you can even, purple. if you want to do, well, if you want to actually do some yellow, you can add um, some yellow on the blue or some yellow on the green, you're going to get still your green. You're going to still have your greens. You're going to still have cool colors. I want a little purplish effect. So the pink, it, pink. Go, go up to the pink, you said? Purple, yeah, you should actually start. Violet. If you're going to do purple, you should just use purple. Okay. Okay, purple will go over blue, not green. Okay, so over Green here, you don't want to do, but perfect. blue you can. Perfect. Yeah. That's where I want some. Here you go. There's purple. Great. I'll use it. Let's see. So you can put purple over that blue yeah, there. Yeah. Maybe in some places, yeah. not in all over, but just in some places. And depending on how wet it is, well, that's beautiful. Yeah, nice. Gorgeous, yeah. yeah nice. That's really pretty. And then while it's still yeah, nice still and juicy, it's wet. Mm -hmm. while it's exactly. juicy. Exactly, still yeah. it's juicy. If it's, if, when it's juicy, that's when you do your, um, your alcohol. Try the spray bottle. Okay. That's cool. Get ready. <laughs> See, it's a different it's, effect. It's doing. Mm -hmm. And dropping, and dropping is a, is cool too. Is you just take your your um, your eyedropper, hold it down like that, and just drop it from any height. Oh, you can go. It up doesn't high. matter. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been going. Ooh, see, I like to watch it. Uh huh. Yeah. As it. Spins. It's like you said, the kaleidoscope. Yes. Idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. The way that little things move in the kaleidoscope, I think that's so cool. I love kaleidoscopes. There was a, a guy in, um, oh, just about three or four years ago who had kaleidoscopes. He was selling kaleidoscopes. He actually made them in, at Artist Alley. He actually okay. made the kaleidoscope. They're gorgeous. They were like an art piece. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Now that's neat. That neat. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, to get as it dries, it yeah. gets a little bit more precise. That's right. That's right. See, as I said, when you get the idea, I want to get. Do, I don't know. I want 
to do something like these bigger ones over here. But it's already saturated. See how wet it is? Well, you experiment with it. Can I? Mm -hmm. Just play with it. See what happens. What happens when I... I don't know. Because it's a lot of... It's already... Well, then let it dry a little bit. Let yeah. it dry before you do that. Yeah, let it dry, then put another layer of uh, paint over it. Um, and maybe even a blue over it. And then try that. Yeah. Now you said this can go over blue. It can it... go over blue, but it can go over green. And green and purple will kind of make a brown. Okay, so I'll stay away from but, that. I'll stay down here. Yeah, I, but you know, I'm maybe like... on the edge you might try what and see what that yeah. makes. I mean, seriously, part of the fun of the magic of watercolor, of mixing colors, yeah. is the spontaneity of mixing colors. I remember when uh, <clears throat> I had a class where this woman was, um, she was learning about color mixing. Oh, she was totally shocked when she discovered that gray, gray and yellow made green. Yeah. A type of green. I'd be, I'd be shocked too. You know, I mean, you know, here we are thinking it was going to make a dark gray, dark yellow. Well, it didn't. Well, it depends on the gray that you mix too. Depends on how much gray you mix in your yellow. But still, it's a wonderful way to make really cool um, earth tone greens too. You know, so that you want to make a sage green, you can make it with yellow. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Fantastic! Well, I have to get a close-up view of some of the little things you're doing. I'm going to come right over with the camera. Okay, I want something in action. I don't, I don't, know, if I, I don't know if I got something wet enough to work with that. Ooh, I like, I like that, though. Very nice. You know, I remember when I was a kid, <clears throat> and we would paint in class, in art class, and you, of course, at that time, you just so poured, you did what they poured the paint down the sink, it. right? Yeah. Uh, which you don't do anymore. But anyway, um, you pour this paint on the sink, and the colors would like, you know, they would just like blend, and you'd wish they'd stay that, that way, way, you know. And basically, that's the whole idea of this: is that you do have something; it it stays that way. And I don't know if you've ever marbleized, and that's fun too. Is you actually make water stiffer? So that the top part of the water is the surface and it's stiff. So that when you put the paint on top of the water, it actually stays that way. And then you take something and you just texture the water after you put some paint in it. And then you put something over it like a piece of paper or fabric and you can marbleize your oh, fabric. Okay. It's the coolest oh, technique. I've seen them do that at some of the street fairs. Yeah, yeah. But that's something that is kind of the same with the same idea. Is that it's something that you change the form of the water, change the consistency, the molecular structure of the water, really. And then you can, um, you can create this interesting effect. So what I'm going to do now is just let the music play, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to talk. Since you've got the basics, you I can just the, experiment. I got it. Because you could use that as a card, card uh, backing, back row, you know, back row card. So this puddle here. Uh huh. Do I, can I wipe out some of it? Or yeah. Do I, if you want to wipe out uh, some of it, take um, take a baby wipe and just and just sponge it out. If you think it's too uh, too saturated. Yeah, it's not wanting to do anything. Okay. And that's got alcohol in it. Does it matter? I don't think so. Oh, so you're just using the cloth part of it, basically. Yeah. Ah, that see, there's stuff under there. Mm-hmm. Just that puddle is. There you go. 
It's probably too saturated. I think 